In this video, we'll explore how the RavenGrade Master Tone plugin works. Now, while this tool may have quite a few sliders, understanding it is really just a matter of understanding three of the most basic adjustments in color grading, lift, gamma, and gain. So to review the behavior of those adjustments, lift is going to influence the bottom or the shadows of the image and have less and less influence on the brighter areas of the image. Gain is going to do the exact opposite. It's going to control the high or the bright portions of the image and have less and less influence on the bottom of the image. Gamma, meanwhile, is going to move everything in the image in between our black point and our white point while leaving the black point and white point themselves unchanged. So with these definitions fresh in mind, we can go back over to the Master Tone plugin and make really easy sense of all of the sliders available to us within it. All that's happening here in the Master Tone plugin is we have three separate regions into which we can push a different combination of lift, gamma, and or gain. So we have lift, gamma, and gain for our low region, lift, gamma, and gain for our mid region, and then lift, gamma, and gain for our high region. And we have the ability to look at the net effect of our adjustments in each of those regions by turning this show net curve option on and simply making our adjustments and evaluating what's happening on the image as well as in our curve so that we can get a really good sense of what our adjustment is really doing to this image. And where the power of this tool really comes in is not just in the ability to articulate lift, gamma, and gain in each of these three regions, but to actually define each of these three regions in whatever way we wish. So if we turn our net curve option off, and we say that we wanna look at the low range, the mid range, and the high range of the image all at once, we're actually now seeing the area of influence that each of these regions has on the image. So here we're looking at our low region, which as you can see, starts off having 100% or full influence and very quickly dies off and has none by the time we get to this middle point. And the high region has a similar character in that it is starting with full influence in the high end of the image in the bright portions and its influence is dying off as we drop toward the middle portions of the tone curve. And then here in the middle, we are looking at everything that doesn't fall into either our low or our high regions. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to have my low end adjustments exert more influence into the middle of the image. I could take my low range threshold and begin to move it over to the right. And now the adjustments that I make here with my low lift, gamma, and gain are going to have greater influence that extends further into the sort of low middle values of this image. Same thing with my high value. If I wanted to have more influence with my high lift, high gamma, and high gain, I could bring my high range threshold down and these sliders would now have greater influence because they're affecting any pixels that fall within this range of the image. And then you'll notice that there actually is no control for our mid range because our mid range is simply defined by whatever is not included in either our low or our high range. And lastly, we can look at our softness controls here, which as you can see, are simply controlling how gradually we are making our transition from full influence to no influence for the region that we are operating on. And this works the same way for our high range and our low range and as you can see also affects the mid range because the mid range is simply whatever is not being included in our low and our high range. So we can now flip these things off safely and we can simply intuitively operate on our image and look at what results we are getting. And if we wanna get a bit of a fuller context for the net of these operations, we can show our net curve and look at what the curve is doing compared to the linear state that it began in.